Ah, Tempest Rising. What a legend. I wish I had more Tempest in my Rising, if you know what I mean. But I gotta work with what I got. And what I've got is too many hours pumped into real-time strategy games. And sadly, no, that's not the name of my girlfriends. <laughs> I wish. If it was, maybe the kangaroos here could still look me in the eyes. I wonder if there's kangaroos still alive in the Tempest timeline. Um, but this game's actually really good. It's the goodest, as we say in Australia. Yes, too many VBs and shrimp on the Barbies here. Crikey. That's a knife. Now, I might have done a few shoeys for cash on Twitch. Mediocre kind of smell. This one actually smells good. But what I did here, I did for free, because I love breaking things. I know some of you were trying to build across a bridge, well, I, I have a present, present for you. you. Also, note, see that white bit coming out of my mouth? Well, down under, we call that feeding the penguins, because you look like you're feeding a bloody penguin. I might have also eaten the hottest chili sauce I could get my hands on. Thought I could wash it down with a beer and melt in my insides. Yeah, I'm stalling. Fuck. Okay, boys. I'm psyching myself out. It's going to be easy, boys. It's going to be, I put it in my mouth. It's like air. It's actually... <coughs> oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Ah, good times. But don't worry, I had a medic to help. You know the guy, the guy that can spray on organs, skin graft, limbs and skin instantly. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's face is melted off. Surely he's not going to die. Ah, nope. Medic man is here. <laughs> Medic man. Definitely needs his own theme song. But I can't believe I'm going to say this. This is the guy you always want behind your back. Are you picking this up? Good. I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. Your mission is really important. Make sure you only keep your eyes on the medic man. Good luck, Commander. With his shockwave looking magic weapon of divine healing goodness, now, as well as healing, you can also drop down a special healing tower, which is absurd. It basically makes your infantry invisible. Wait, wait where'd they go? Invincible, I mean. But how much damage can these infantry handle? Well, the only way to really test this out is to build Gatling cannons. <laughs> In Tempest, they look awesome and have heat effects. Ouch! Don't touch that, you crazy bastard. Now, let's drop down a green one. No, it's not a VB, mate. Calm down. Now let's get this cannon lock and loaded on a unit and see how this healing tower works. Pretty crazy, it's like AR is immortal. But how about 50 cannons? I don't know about you, but I might be a psycho because I can't get enough of these flesh bags instantly combusting into red liquid gooey goodness. Now cut to cool explosions. Ah, oh, this game looks good, doesn't it? Did you know the MCV in Tempest Rising is considered a heavy vehicle? Meaning this monstrosity of a unit can run over infantry, which probably doesn't surprise anyone. Just look at it. But this holy grail of units can run over flame tanks, normal tanks. And if you have way too much time on your hands, you can take 20 minutes. You can take a scenic route across the map. On your right, you have the uh, buildings and the... Uh, Tempest Fields, and you can drive all the way over to the other side of the map just to run off this jack off sitting here, which is nuts. But what's really crazy is despite it being able to topple tanks and mow down vehicles the size of trucks, it still can't run over your fat mama. <laughs> I'm only kidding. That's a huge bitch. 
but we could definitely make your mama so fat jokes and throw in the MSV there because for real the MSV is a beast unit in Tempest Rising. But check this out, did you know you can complete this mission without even training a single unit or constructing a building? Yep, we broke the mission. I was speedrunning this bad boy and figured out this monstrosity of MSV can beat them all one wheeled. Smushing goodness. Look at listen to that squishing sound, they nailed it. Using this method, you can finish the mission in three to four minutes, which I know is a lifetime for some of you fellas. Ah, but I reckon, yeah, you could get three to four minutes if you get a perfect run. Pretty sure that's going to be one of the fastest methods, but I'm interested. Someone should give this a go and see if you can figure out an even better, quicker way. But don't worry, the devs will be making some changes to tune down the MSV, which makes my heart, heart cry out to the full blown moon. There's only one thing to protect your Tempest, and that's with Gatling cannons. Gatling cannons everywhere. Gatling cannons in your Tempest field work the best. I even got them built in the no-go zone. <laughs> but I also did a sneaky. You can't set up your MSV or build across the bridge, can you? Huh? Well, I found a secret way. Yes. If you do it like this, I spent three hours building around here. And then just around here, up the cliff. Down this way. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have a smoker because it's been 10 freaking days doing this. All right, let's continue building. Building silos down this way. Some gets up here. Can I actually hit that? Oh, I can hit that. Ooh, spicy. I'm going to take down this whole base, doing it this way. Let's go down the cliff. Oh, we can build in the no-go zone. Look at this. We're going to make it. Surely I can get around the bridge by going this way. Building down here. Oh, this is a tricky place. Oh, oh no. And guess what? After all that time, you can build right bloody here. They put that there for a bloody reason, I swear. Anyway, the Tempest crew can thank me for testing out. You can't do this any other way. I'm pretty certain of it. But now for the final act, we're gonna complete mission one with just buildings. That's right, completing mission one with Gatling cannons. Yes, glorious. See, I told you. And yes, I forgot to use repair, which, which made this take even longer. And no, I didn't spend all night trying to build around the map just to kill a base, all right? Just get off my back, mum. But yeah, repair would have helped a lot here. Man, these tanks and flame towers are crazy. Flame towers are definitely tricky to get down. Oh, interesting. You can see that the flames does less damage the further it gets out almost. Just like at the edge here, it's not doing much damage at all. Pretty damn realistic, this game. Look, even the flame tank and tank want some action. We're gonna get ya. Good, 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 good. So I'm building barracks here. Try to soak up some damage. And yes, we're finally making it. Slowly towards the MSV. <laughs>
five minute lead here. Let's go. Yeah. Well, that's the story of my life. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this at all, please hit that rising tempest button. You know, the big red one, you know, the one you like all in good fun, boys. Peace legends. I'll catch ya.